Hi and welcome back. We are talking about uh, postnatal recovery on this Let's Talk series. And we are, what are we talking about? Oh, what to be aware of. <laughs> had a real what crash. to be aware of postnatally. So, there will be some pretty standard feelings, emotions, body. You're going to all in all feel a little bit sore, a little bit tired probably. A lot tired. I'm not tired. I was being nice. Um, <laughs> and just generally a little bit out of sorts. Sometimes there's more to it than that. Um, from a body perspective, we are the body people rather than mindset. Um, so from a body perspective, because that's what we can talk on, um, you there are some warning signs that you may need to address if if these you know kind of in your life so um one of them is yeah let's start with the dragging mm -hmm, the dragging okay. sensation so if you are feeling like a heaviness down there a persistent heaviness because you will everything still feels a bit feels a bit raw <laughs> a bit yeah. uncomfortable uncomfortable but if it sort of develops and it's more of a heaviness or you can feel what feels like a little bit of something in between your legs when you walk, it can be a sign of a prolapse. So you do, if you've had your baby and you've obviously come home, getting on with life, and then you've noticed things just don't feel quite right, go and get it checked out. Go and see a um, your GP probably first or a women's health physio. Um, would be ideal and um, get them to see what's going on because you could have a pelvic organ prolapse. So and that is whether you had a natural birth or a c-section that can happen so don't yeah. feel that because you had a c-section that if you're getting those sensations that you can't possibly have a prolapse because you can because they can be caused through um the way the baby's been lying or that just that stuff has got weak and loose and then when you've had the baby it's it's given you've got a prolapse so don't feel that it's just if you've had a natural birth with that one um we have a secret as well yeah moving on from that one <laughs> Did you know that once you've had a baby, it doesn't mean that you are always going to wet your knickers when you sneeze? I know. I'm glad you whispered that to me. That's a secret. You can do something. It's this whole big thing about it, isn't it? And you'll see it so much out there about all the ways that you can, all the different products that you can purchase to deal with this. It's just going to be that way forever problem mm -hmm. and I'm so sorry but we're about to tell you that it doesn't always have to be that way and you can stop leaking <laughs> when you sneeze it is possible we've dealt with yeah goodness knows how many women now and um, achieve these results so that is a common a very common um side effect should we say of pregnancy and birth yeah and it is all down to the amount of pressure in the abdominal cavity and then the pelvic floor over the head of the baby, I'm doing that. It freaks people out. <laughs> it does. Freak me out. I'm like, what is she doing? The little horns coming out of her head. Um, so it does. It does definitely take its toll on the pelvic floor. And pelvic floor squeezes are great, but there are other ways that you can do it as well, which is what we talk a lot about in our training. So we wanted to share with you that if you are feeling that, don't go, oh, there we just go. One of those just things. one of those things. It doesn't have to be just one of those things, and it can be addressed. So we wanted to share that with you. Yeah. Um, what was our other one? Um, abdominal separation. So your abdominals will have it separated. So you've got rectus abdominals that go down the center. Your six pack. As baby grows, they get bigger. They don't get bigger. They get the gap gets wider for baby to allow baby to grow. And if only it was like Harry Potter and. Phew, they just come back together. They don't always come back together. And this is the thing that's really important, that is that some women will have one baby and they'll have a, be left with a big gap. Other women will have two or three babies and they won't be left. It's, it, there is no There's rhyme, no, no rhyme reason. reason. No. Um, so if you didn't have much of a separation after your first baby, if it came back together quite quickly... Um, it naturally it's gonna with each significant each subsequent not significant each subsequent birth pregnancy 
your body might struggle a little bit more to get those abdominals back together but some women will have that problem first yeah. first baby so don't you need to be aware of it um if you've got an abdominal separation you it will give you weaknesses in your pelvic floor it will give you possibly back um, issues your hips um you are more prone to getting a, a, a hernia or an umbilical hernia so there are issues that are relative to that condition and you need to get those abdominals back together before you start doing any abdominal training so and no crunches is not the answer no Just saying that right now and we know that there are classes out there that are aimed and targeted at postnatal women that are giving them inappropriate exercises for those of them those women that haven't got that gap back together so you need to get yourself checked and if your instructor or um, your doctor hasn't checked your abdominals check out our video how to check for ectostiastasis and you can check yourself and give you and then you'll you'll have an idea we do health checks for new mums so if you're really not sure if you've had a feel and you're really not sure what's going on then you want to know about other issues that you're, you're suffering with come and see us we're based at k2 in crawley if you are local if you're local if not message us and we can help you anyway yeah. so that's the other one rectus diastasis and i think those were the three main ones so stress incontinence doesn't have to stay forever prolapse be aware of the signs so that you can get some further information and help with regards to that we can help but we need to know where you start mm -hmm. where your starting point is yeah um, and the third one is rectus diastasis, abdominal separation. Again, we we don't need to get any further problems with that. And umbilical hernia, where your insides come through the through the gap, is quite a big problem. So you do want to address that um, again, which is what we can do to help you there. But hopefully, you found that helpful, so you can be aware of any signs or symptoms that you've had since having baby that just seem a little bit different. You weren't really sure whether there was anything going on. Those are the three main ones you want to look out for. I'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.